Hey everybody, Vestmore here, and today I've got something super exciting to share with you. This morning I was lucky enough to attend a Behind Closed Doors event where Ubisoft unveiled the newest game in their Ghost Recon franchise. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Needless to say, I am super hyped for this game, it looks absolutely stunning, and it's got a ton of new features to boot. So, I figured in today's video I'd bring you guys the top 10 things I think you should know about Ghost Recon Breakpoint. If you enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and leave a cheeky little comment. Let me know what you think of this game. Anyway, enough of that, on to the video. So the million dollar question that's usually on people's minds when they see a new game is, when is it releasing? Well, lucky for us, there's an announced release date. Ghost Recon Breakpoint will be releasing on October the 4th which is only five months away, so honestly, it's already on the doorstep. Still, with E3 less than a month away, hopefully we'll be able to see a little bit more about Breakpoint there, but regardless, it's awesome to have something to look forward to at the end of this year. Coming in at number two, we have the stealth and survival aspects of this game. Now, Ghost Recon has never been a stranger to stealth, with Wildlands boasting its own stealth system and games like Future Soldier implementing things like active camouflage, but in this game, it has never been more important. In this game, you're constantly going to be on the back foot, hunted by powerful enemies with greater numbers than your own. In order to survive, you're going to have to make use of the full breadth of new mechanics, be them camouflaging yourself in the mud in order to avoid detection, as well as moving and dumping enemy bodies so that they're not discovered, all while coordinating with your team in up to four player co-op. Nobody's perfect, however, and there will be times that you get discovered and inevitably shot. Which is even more bad news in this game because being wounded affects the way you move and your aiming ability, forcing you to escape and heal up before you can be 100% combat effective. Needless to say, there's certainly a whole new level of depth to the mechanics this time round. Moving on to number 3, we have the all new bivouac system, which allows you to utilise and upgrade a whole host of handy gadgets in order to get the job done such as a UAV drone that allows you to get a bird's eye view of the battlefield, as well as a fancy laser cutter that allows you to cut through fences and grates in order to get the drop on your enemies. Pretty cool stuff. Moving on from there to number 4, we have the class system. It's unclear what the classes will actually do for you, but I can imagine they probably give you perks, buffs, and access to special weapons that will help enhance the playstyle you're going for. We know that there are going to be multiple classes with 4 on launch. So I'm definitely excited to hear more about those. Moving on to number five, we had a sneak peek at the first ever raid in Ghost Recon history. Now, I am super excited about this one because I honestly don't even know what it's going to entail. Raids are usually end game content in things like MMOs and things with progressions and levels and gear scores, which traditionally Ghost Recon has never really been about. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they adapt the raid formula to fit Ghost Recon. But aside from that, we got a sneak peek at the raid itself and it is set inside of a volcano. That's awesome. There was also this massive drone that like airlifted out of the volcano, this like crazy looking battle tank. I have no idea what's going on, but gosh darn, does it look good. Coming in at number six, we have one for those who are more PvP inclined. As you probably know, when Ghost Recon Wildlands launched, it didn't come with PvP, and players had to wait for that to be added in a later patch. However, this time around in Breakpoint, PvP is coming at launch, meaning anyone who wants to shoot it up with other players can do so right out of the box. One other interesting little tidbit to note is they mentioned that your characters are persistent throughout Breakpoint and its modes, meaning that your single player character is also your PvP character and vice versa. And that includes the same guns, cosmetics, etc. So it will be interesting to see how that plays into things, if at all. Number 7 will certainly delight those who are looking to spend a lot of time with Breakpoint. Ubisoft have confirmed that every 4 months they're going to be releasing new episodes that will enhance and move the story forward. So anyone looking to play Breakpoint for a long time coming should have enough content to keep them satisfied. This is also where that first raid is coming from by the way, so the potential for perhaps other raids or other forms of content is an exciting prospect. While we're on the topic of story, I think number 8 would be a good opportunity to talk about what we know about the story so far. They don't call me Vestlore for nothing. 
So the story is set in the modern age, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's set after Wildlands, so 2019. It's set around a lone island in the Pacific Ocean known as Aroa, which is headquarters to the man at the forefront of AI development, Jay Skell. Over the years, Skell has been creating different drones in order to further humanity. But as time goes on, people begin to become wary of how advanced the drones have gotten, especially in comparison to humans. The government have had enough. They send Ghost Recon into Aroa in order to put a stop to it. You play as Nomad, leader of the squad that was sent in. After your mission goes wrong and you are shot down, you become stranded on Aroa, where you learn that rogue ghosts, known as wolves, have taken over. You are then tasked with surviving this hellish island, constantly evading wolves and their repurposed drones. The story itself is also said to boast branching dialogue options, so it certainly looks like there's a lot to chew on here. But one thing's for sure, once we know more, I'll be sure to let you know. In at number 9, we have weapon customization and modding. Throughout the demonstration, each of the ghosts in the squad had different attachments on their guns, things like different sights, silencers, etc. While we didn't get an in-depth look at the weapon customization in this game just yet, I think it's safe to say that there will be a large amount of customization, as it's something that Ghost Recon is known for, which is especially evident in Wildlands. Things like silencers will allow you to kill enemies undetected, and who knows what other interesting attachments there will be this time around. Finally, number 10 will please people who have enjoyed the direction that Ghost Recon has taken recently with the likes of Wildlands. In that breakpoint is completely open world. Explore beaches, deserts, jungles, and the aforementioned volcano as you try to survive. Each terrain has its benefits and its detriments, and you'll have to master each to be as efficient as possible. Of course, there's a variety of vehicles that will allow you to explore even further and faster, be them on-road, off-road, in the air, or even by sea. And there you have it. That was 10 things I think you should know about the brand new Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Guys, I seriously cannot wait for this game. I think it looks absolutely amazing. But tell me, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this game. Are you excited for it? If you enjoyed this video, do be sure to leave a like. But for now, that's it from me, guys. This is Vest, signing off. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.